All right, supposedly I'm going to try something here, uh, a little experiment. It's going to be the uh, flea death ray for my cat. He's going to try to kill all the fleas on him with a death ray. So the Russians got all this technology, right? So I figured, what the hell? I'm going to use some spooky remote, remote here. And I don't know if this works. I actually got this off an internet site. It was supposedly posted back in 2003, this Dr. Lloyd said, that this frequency, 2750, will kill the flea. So here I have channel run, 1 running on myself, which is this wire right here. That's to me. That's running on 727. That's one of those catch-off right frequencies that pretty much does every damn thing. It's one of those all-encompassing frequencies. Here, I put a bunch of fleas, and I made sure there was no cat DNA in it. Um, got them sandwiched between, there's like five fleas. They're sandwiched between the, the um, paper here the um, tape, masking tape, they're right on the bullseye, it's running at four and a half volts, it's coming out the second end output, and we're going to turn on the death ray and see what happens. So 2,000, 700, oops, 50, somehow that did, there it is, 2,750, somehow I moved the um, thing back you got to switch it you move this integer over using these arrows and you can turn this knob and you can adjust this manually so 2750 is supposedly the death ray for fleas it's going out output number two that's channel two output number two which is this wire here to this and it has some fleas sitting in there on a dead flea sitting in there on a bullseye and we shall see. So this is a cool way to see if uh, Spooky Remote uh, works. Now I made sure there's absolutely no cat DNA affecting in this frequency. And actually, you know, this list frequency doesn't list as anything harmful for humans. But who the hell knows? So I'm running the flea death ray. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. But you know, the only way to freaking find out if it's pseudoscience or what, and you know, even if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean it's pseudoscience, but if it works, that's going to be some freaky crap. So, I'm going to run this for about a day or so, and uh, see what happens. If I see a bunch of dead, if the cat's got no fleas left, I guess that's it, you know? And uh, I guess we won't be needing this stuff anymore. <laughs> So, we shall find out. I've heard this actually worked with ants and stuff like that. It was a different frequency. You could actually kill the ants' digestive system and kill off all the ants in your house. I don't know if this is true or what, but uh, it's pretty crazy shit. So, we shall find out. Here we go. The flea death ray. I just made sure there's absolutely no cat DNA in there or anything like that. It's not a frequency that's harmful to humans, but supposedly... And, you know, the information on the Internet, you really don't know what the hell you're getting. And supposedly, this was posted saying that it was from Dr. Lloyd. I don't even know if it is legit, legitimately from Dr. Lloyd. But somebody posted that the frequency 2,750, they used uh, successfully with, um, I think it was a plasma device or something else. And they were able to kill <laughs> the, frequency, the uh, fleas on a dog and a cat. And I was like, well, that's pretty interesting. So we're trying this via Spooky Remote Quantum Entanglement on Channel 2. And there's about five dead fleas in that paper wafers between there. And uh, it's running at 4.5 volts, frequency 2750. So here we go. The Russians did develop something, if that's good, if in, in my opinion, if I get rid of these fleas on this cat. It's actually Rocky has got them, you know. Putin don't have them, Rocky's got them. And... Uh, they're tough to get rid of, so we're going to zap them. <laughs>